Hello everyone and welcome to the Seasonal Watch. Today we're watching I Car Episode 3. Now what happened last time? Finn was taken by Chris and VJ to the the hideout where I think his name is Bernard, but I might be mixing up with the bird from Spike Classroom. Which I know it's called Bernard, but Maybe both of them are called Bernard. I don't know. I don't remember. But the old, old man was explaining to him about the special cards that is, including the one that he has. How they only... They choose their player and how you can only activate one. Like, only their chosen person would be the one to activate them. And they decided to hire Finn. So now he's working under Chris, and which is going to help the, the orphanage where he grew up in, since now he can gain money to help them out, and he's keeping his card, otherwise he would have lost it, because they were going to take it away. Now he's learning from him and everything, so we have Finn with New Neo Mumbo, I think, or something like that, which I was explained that Neo Mumbo is one of, a gun that they use there. So yeah, just a new version of it, which he can materialize and materialize bullets. I don't know if there's anything else to it, but considering is a two of spades, which they call it one of the lowest rank, since it's by the numbers. To being the lowest. Makes sense that that's really all it does. Then we have Chris with calories high, allowing him to be mortal, basically. BJ with the whole groups controlling power. We have Wendy with a sword. Don't really know much more about that power. And we have. I'm calling him Bernard for now, which I don't know even. He probably has a card, but I don't know what card it is. So, can't wait to see what what's gonna happen this time. Are we gonna learn anything more about Wendy, or are we gonna see a bit more about VJ? Because I think Green Green, I think, was the name of his card. But are we just gonna focus on Chris and Finn against Epsilon? Who's to say? Oh, well, I'm checking out. Now, as a reminder, this is a time reaction, which means you sync up your own version of mine and we'll watch it together. I'll try to add some scenes here and there, but don't expect too much. And with that being said, let's get started. Three, two, one, go. Fire. Oh. Okay, crazy cultist people, got it. Pray for the fire! Pray for the fire! Pray for the fire! And a card came down. Which probably has something to do with fire. Just to... Yeah. A lot of fire. Up, 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 up. As I mentioned before, I'm not watching the opening and ending for the first three or so episodes to like avoid spoilers since we're in the beginning of a new series. And I have been told there might be spoilers enough for like the first three or four episodes, so I'll have to see if in the fourth episode I'll be able to watch it, or if it's gonna be on the fifth episode, if not further. But who knows? Um, I should have looked at the timer, because now I don't really have much to go off. Okay, so we got somebody else getting a card. Related to fire, since they were praying, pray for the fire. And I'm guessing high cards is gonna go deal with them, just like they dealt with the other guy, which had the hard rocking, rocking hard. I don't remember what's the name of the card that made him tough and happy. Now, the question is are we gonna have Chris and Finn again do it? Or it's gonna be another combination. Don't know. 
Hopefully we'll get to see the others in action, not just focus on Chris and Finn. Because, like, Finn has a gun. Chris is a normal person, just he can keep reviving. Back. Crazy rich. Oh, look at his new suit. That yellow suit. I don't remember what color is Wendy's suit. Is it like a gray, black, or maybe a blue? I know Ben has yellow, Chris has red, BJ I believe has green. Everyone was just stood there dumbfounded, huh? Oh. Okay, there. These guys, I think they're with that girl for the pray for the fire thing. He's super chill about it. I just got kidnapped. Oh well. I guess just a normal situation. Sincere apology. I want to see where this goes. Because he's pretty true about this whole hostage situation. I guess he's gonna be saved by Finn right now. Oh, he laughed at some point. I have no idea when. Ah, Finn took him. Not really sure when Finn went there, but Finn does have that sleight of hand, so. Not surprising, just. Rummy College. That's a uniform. Actually, not nearly. I think he did get kidnapped. Nope. Where have I heard Finn's voice from? Sounds familiar, I cannot put my finger on it. Yeah, I can see that. He, he's getting a lecture from the guy he saved. Yeah. Um, what? What is going on here? <clears throat> and then find out that went to the father's company. Do you have a guarantee of that? It's like, yeah, the son's used to deal with the dad, after all, doesn't even have his number. And he's pretty old and uh, monotone, kind of. He's good at dodging. <laughs> the guys are beating themselves. Okay, that's going too far.
And those should are there just show. The granny, though. The granny is well prepared for this. And Finn's gonna get involved. I imagine. Okay, that was a weird transition. Hold up. There it is. And the grin is just chill. <laughs> All of this happened at her restaurant. Yeah, taking the bike in that situation, sure, I can see how that makes sense and everything, but there are repercussions. Oh yeah, I, I can see that them having problems. But I feel like there's also a problem between them. I thought they were supposed to stay here. Are they done for the whole witness stuff? The testimony? Yeah, you're a different story. The guy just stood there, I guess. Was that Finn? I can see on the, the mirror. Or is that... Maybe that's the other kid, but... I feel like that looked like Finn. And he was thinking that he's related to the high card, maybe. And the girl's taking them out. Yeah, Nick's. Like it, like I said, it was related to that. So can she manipulate fire? That's her ability. In a way, it's kind of like BJ's green green. That of plants just fire. Which has more destructive power, but less... constricting. What is going on through your head? He seemed like he disappeared, yeah. He's not gonna leave you alone. Yeah, fair. Look at that. Finally, something. Hmm. No, no。しれえよ。子供の頃に交通事故にあったみたいでさ。俺は奇跡的に助かったんだけど、その。That's oh. new information. あ、sucks. Yeah, cuz as far as he remembers, he doesn't have, doesn't have parents. The close thing is, I guess, that guy from the orphanage. I could kind of see, be, basically his dad. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's good. It's not bad. And hey, he actually enjoy something. He never went to Subway. 
No. Just reach person fame. Like I said, he's not going to leave you alone. The trust fund, baby. Oh. Yeah, smear. Yeah, he was running around with the ice cream, man. Who, who knew? He's pretty good with the kids. What about your parents, kid? Don't tell me the fight's gonna happen on the subway. Seven of clubs. Ooh. That glove's fire. Little Scoville. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> He's so chill about this. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I don't think this boy believes that. Yeah, see? That's what I was talking about. There is some problems between father and son there. I've been saying that since the beginning. According to the son, would be would be... That stupid son of mine got himself killed. That's all. According to the kid, I don't know what goes on in the father's mind in the back that he doesn't show. We haven't even seen the dead yet. They really are crazy. Now they're dancing. Oh my god. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it is. Mr. Slide a hand. A little bit. It looks kind of plebby. <laughs> the kid was surprised there, but... Yeah, the kid is talking about the whole logic thing. Not like um, the whole shooting at the car with the hostage. Yeah, that's a good defense. Just melt the bullet away. Even though I guess it should have exploded with the fire. Is there's... Oh, no, then again. I think the gunpowder is just to blast the bullet. The bullet's just like metal. Yeah, the bullets aren't explosive bullets. So never mind.
fire shower. Okay, music. And she's super fine in the fire. And then... Oh. The support came in. Chris? <laughs> it was just a coincidence. I guess he was going after the card. Leo is the kid. Okay. Is his dad the owner of the car company? I just put the two and two together right now. Does he have a card? Yeah. And he, he, seven of diamonds. And I'm guessing his his is based on money. Never no dollars. Or a high card. Now what does he do with the money? Okay. So basically instant purchase. <laughs> like just get that money and buy something with it. Like make the object appear. Really only works with a super rich person then. Which I guess that's why it shows him. And like that. Nothing like a bazooka to the face. Now, was Nick's, Nick's squashed by that? Sure, you didn't need help there, of course. It did get scratched. A bandage, yep. He used the burn money, like it was like half, half. But. It still worked, I guess. <laughs> Nookly. He's the manager. Well then. And she has like a brown ray. Oh, yeah, they met. Ah, uh, don't watch the ending as well. I don't know if there's anything on the ending. I wonder if Leo is if he's in the opening or ending because he's part of High Card, which, yeah, that would be a spoiler. Since I only figured that out by the time Chris appeared at the old factory. Dude, then I had no idea that he was connected to High Card. If anything, um, when Finn pulled out the card to play, he was pointing 
head out, so I thought he might have a card. But once Chris showed up with like actually talking with Leo with the money and everything, I was like, okay, yeah, he they know each other and everything. So because he was bringing the money for him, it really sounded like he was in a higher reputation, higher rank, which makes me think of a higher up in the company, like that being the boss of the nuclear car, car manufacturers, which seems to be the case. And Leo became the manager of this branch. So, yeah, another person on the team that for some reason, I guess we weren't introduced before because he wasn't there at the time. Because Chris seems to know about him, uh, like it wasn't Chris and the others seem to know about him. Just Finn was unaware. Oh shoot! There was something going on. I'm gonna have to see in the editing what I missed. There is a confirmation. I was just talking about that. So, yeah, they confirmed that he's the son of the boss of the car manufacturing company. And that's the episode. So, as I was saying, Leo is the son of the, the big boss, the owner of the car manufacturer, which I put that stuff together once Chris appeared. I wasn't sure if he had a card, but he does. The seven of clubs never know dollars. Which is like it's basically instant purchase make the item materialize if he has the money nearby. Now, if he has the money nearby, so for example, somebody has their wallet near him, can he use the other person's money? Or does it have to be his money? But yeah, that is something only a rich person could have. So, the whole thing of the cards pick their players, which I guess has to do with how they synergize with the ability, synergize with the person. In a way, it's kind of like how Finn has a whole focus, the whole focus and good, good aim, I guess. So, he can make the weapon work the accuracy which for something simple as that I guess that's really what matters for the others I don't know exactly what makes it the affinity I mean with Nick's kind of on point we saw that in the beginning of the episode Speaking of Nyx, I guess we could have put two and two together a bit earlier because we saw the factory and they are all, all there and 
the two brothers who were talking about they had um, a company, their client, their biggest client move away, and thanks to the kid's dad's company, that means they were a rival in a similar um, business. Well, their factory, what could have been in that factory? If we kind of look at the stuff that's making that statue, I guess we can kind of get an idea that could be a car factory. Does that Leo's dad has a car factory? What car factory do we know? ずっと取引してた大会社が何の前触れもなくいきなり契約を切ったんだそれがこいつの親父の会社だ一方的な契約打ち切りは奴の指示だったんだピノクルは倉敷駒団を兼ね備えた紳士淑女のための自動車メー
だからさ実際に親のこと言われたらどんなか想像してなかったっつうかできなかったっつうかねうまいだろまさかの素直じゃねえなこっからならあれでいけるぜあれが地下鉄かまさか乗ったことないとかカードは使えるのかほらついてこいって構うなと言ったいいからいいから But now let's go back to Finn's situation with his family So we knew he grew up in an orphanage But we don't, didn't know the details behind his family Now we know that when he was little He was in a, in a car crash, a car accident And lost his memory Possibly that was the, when he lost his parents as well so he lost his parents and had no memory of them and it seems like he has not recovered since i wonder if at some point he's gonna recover that memory since amnesia sometimes is recoverable of course just to just point out that no he does not even know what it's like to have a family because that memory was taken away from him that's it which all for fine, like, I don't mind if, if that amnesia ever is ever recovered, I'm just curious. Now, an interesting thing is that how Leo keeps pointing out the logical choice and everything and how Finn keeps trying to be heroic and be emotional, like be moved by emotion and doing this heroic acts, which puts him at danger, but him and others at danger. So I wonder if Leo's gonna eventually teach um, Finn to actually use his head more and think up instead of just act first think later which is kind of similar with how Chris did last episode with the whole got the rock hard guy that the shots were not being effective so Chris was pointing out like this guy heavy now what can we do with that threw him in the water which yeah you have to adapt with the power with what you what's happening with the situation you can't just rely on that main tool you have sometimes you gotta be creative or do something completely out of the normal out of the box even. But yeah, it's interesting that the kid, and again, I guess Finn is like 17, if I remember right. So I, yeah, I don't know how old Leo is, if he's also 17, if he's younger, like 15 or something. I don't think they ever mention his age. Then again, I think that was a college uniform they said. So maybe he is older than Finn. Maybe he's like 18, 19. But yeah, he's the manager, so he's the higher up there. I th yeah, I believe he's higher than Bernard as well. So he's the one bossing around the branch. He's the one commanding things, so gotta listen to him. Gotta 
坊ちゃんばっかの格好らしいし狙われたのかもな今何ってはいこの方はレオ・コンスタンティン・ピノクルピノクル社オールドメイド支店の店長でございます But yeah, I think that's all I had to say about this episode. I'm curious to see if how Leo is gonna be more recurring character or if just occasionally in the series. I still wanna see more of VJ and definitely w a n t to find out more about Wendy and even Bernard. But that's all will come with time, I'm sure. That's all for this episode, and that being said, see you next time. Bye!